Okay, so I am here with my friend Sarah Booth, who lives in Hola. Coronado. Hola. And you were just about to tell me about the active lifestyle here in Coronado. So tell me a little bit about how people are really living here full time and being active too. Absolutely. Uh, when I first moved here almost four years ago, I was a little concerned that it might have been before my time being in my late 30s and uh, single and it just seemed like uh, I thought it was going to be more of a retirement community and as it turns out, all walks of life live here, more people are moving in, we have more amenities, there's young couples, there's young singles, there's just a whole variety of people and, and even the retirees are, are so young at heart. Um, wow, so people of all ages. All ages. And, Every year it just gets more interesting and uh, many people have online businesses or, or come here to create businesses. Um, but anyways, yeah, the active lifestyle, it just gets better. I met this fabulous woman at a Thanksgiving party last week, Natasha. She lives in Playa Blanca and she's doing uh, beach boot camp classes in Coronado twice a week, uh, Zumba, uh, water aerobics in Playa Blanca. She's wow. kind of running back and forth and doing all these classes. There's a group of us who often go to the city and uh, do 5 and 10k races. There's the gym at Coronado, which I just came from. Um, golf. I mean, there's just, it's just fabulous. So as well as all the parties and the social aspect, definitely there's there's the fitness aspect, and it's so much more fun in a group. Um, wow, so you're finding it easy to and stay in shape and yeah. find I people to work out with. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that takes an effort just on my behalf, but certainly having the social aspect of it, if it was just up to me and all I had was the gym, then, oh, no, you know, I won't go today or whatever. Yeah. But uh, certainly we motivate each other. Um, a friend of mine, Karen, she's done I don't know how many marathons, and she... Uh, she was really our mentor last year, a group of us who'd never really run before, and uh, she helped wow. us train and in a certain way, and just with the, the psychology of it, it was just so pleasurable, and having the races to kind of look forward to and, and train towards was And let me was ask great. you something. You yeah. travel a lot. I do. So, is this home? This is home. It's my home base. Uh, I'm not here all the time, but I do find that one of the reasons I did move to Panama, it's a great hub, so many direct flights. Um, one of my main goals was to see all of South and Central America, so I uh, definitely take advantage of that. I do go back home to Canada every summer. Um, it's a little bit harder to get to the West Coast, but it seems like that's, that's uh, getting a little easier. Um, it's my home base. Yeah. So, but I and think I'm going to be spending more and more time here now that there's just so much more here for me. Okay, wow. So it's, you know, the travel is really easy because it's the hub of the Americas exactly. and, and the flights are easy, but yeah. you, you see yourself spending more time here. Absolutely. Um, okay, and then last question I want to ask you about, you know, as the rest of us are kind of worrying about North America and the economy tanking. How do you see sort of the business environment doing here in Panama? How you know, how are you doing? It's well, it's amazing. Um, I went on a road trip through Florida in February. Rented a car, drove around, visited friends, and kind of just looked around, looked at real estate. I'm always interested in looking at, uh, especially bargains, and uh, very smart. Went from West Coast to East Coast. I saw a concrete plant shut down. Uh, real estate. You know, it's tanking, but I didn't, personally, I didn't want to invest uh, very high costs of, of maintenance fees, and, and there's rental restrictions, and strata fees, and taxes, and everything, so I didn't find anything um, for myself, but what I did find interesting is just the whole atmosphere, that every time I come back to Panama after traveling, I mean, there's mall after mall opening, and we've got, you know, the Macho Tazo just opened outside of Coronado, we've got three store. grocery stores here now, we've got an organic store here now, restaurant, the one we're sitting in, fabulous, sports bars, um, you know, it just is so vibrant and growing, and I think it, it just gives off that whole positive kind of environment, and, and most of my renters and clients are actually coming here. Look, they're not actually coming on holiday. Sure, they see the canal and various things, but they're looking to retire here. Where the cost of living is amazing. The pensionado visa or the various visas that are offered. I mean, Panama just really seems to want to attract the expatriates. And, yeah. 
and there's, I think they're doing a good job with, with what they offer. And so what you do in... The weather, of course. Oh, the, the weather's weather for a beautiful round. day today, and it's rainy this is, season. This is rainy season. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. So, and what you do in Panama City and Coronado is you have some apartments that you rent out in, in that short term? Exactly. Um, I do a little bit of long term, short term. Uh, when I first came to Panama, I guess more than four years, just over four years ago, uh, I bought a couple of properties for investment in the city. Uh, the rentals have been very strong. I, I buy uh, properties, I renovate them, I set them up with computers, printers, cell phones, new furnishings. I always nice. update them. I have a lot of great repeat clientele. So I mostly rent by the week, but sometimes by the month, sometimes by the year. I have five properties in, in Panama City in great locations. Mm -hmm. And also in Coronado, I've done up my casitas. I have two casitas on my property, and uh, I just recently retiled the bathrooms and changed the sinks and the toilets. And so I'm always keeping everything updated. The business is very good. It's very, very good. I have a business in Mexico that's very seasonal. I can kind of count on Panama year-round. Wow, okay, and that's a really good thing to know. So I'll show some some footage of your casitas here in Coronado a little bit later. Oh, great. And do you want to just say your email so that people can get in touch with you? My website is panamaholidayhomes.com. Okay. You can email me at sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at panamaholidayhomes.com or panamasarah at gmail.com. Uh, even while I'm traveling, I'm, I'm very diligent with the emails. I get back to people very promptly. I was just at the gym on the treadmill. I took three business calls. <laughs> I had to explain I was on the treadmill so they wouldn't think I was heavy breathing for some other strange <laughs> reason. But, uh, you know, I'm always available and I have really good support in the city as well. So when I am traveling, right. I'm picked up at the airport, they're checked in, Jose is my main man. So, you know, we're getting it all together and uh, life is good here. Great. All right. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you.